Hey there, it's Jay once again with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Today we'll run on some sweets, swipe some watermelons, play football, become MacGyver, ride a robot, and control a mafia gang. Let's go! Today we begin with a sticky sweet runner called Candy Run 3D. This game doesn't have anything out of the ordinary for the genre, but let's talk about a few things that some players might find engaging. Overall, it's not the dynamics or originality, it is the graphics. As promised by the name, here everything is made of candy. The hero runs along something like a licorice stick and collects not coins, but candies, and everything around is very bright and sweet. Candy lovers should be pleased. The second game is Juice Splash. This is one of those matching games where you join some things of the same color, they disappear, and the new colorful stuff falls down from the top. We've all played that kind of game and know the deal, but this game has its own little twist. Fruits of the same color need to be connected in one continuous line, and it so happens that you can get a huge number of watermelons and not be able to pop them off because you can't draw them in a line. Some might say that the graphics are too childish, but I think it's a pretty good and relaxing time killer. Our third game today is Stickman Soccer 2014. Lately, Stickman have been constantly shoved into games of different genres, and this time it is a soccer simulator. Everything is quite simple. Choose your team, your opposing team, set the difficulty and duration of the match, and start. All players look pretty much the same, such as they have one black dot instead of a head. Just like in real soccer, right? Unfortunately, the dynamics here aren't that great. Everything was a lot slower than I liked, but maybe some people might like it better that way. Those who love soccer are certainly welcome to check it out. Next game is MacGyver Deadly Descent. Here we play as the legendary MacGyver, who does all sorts of cool things like penetrate enemy bases and so forth, hence the game genre. Yes, it's a puzzle. There's no real action here as such, but there is a plot supplied in the form of comic dialogues and a bunch of puzzles like turning off a laser alarm. Puzzles are different and become more difficult the more you play. The graphics are 3D and sometimes aren't bad even, so if you love exercising your brain, give this one a try. Next up is called Metal Combat Arena. This is a multiplayer shooter in the style of the tanks games. Here you are faced with a choice of armored vehicles. You can have walking robots, tanks, light and fast bikes, armored like Batman's, and even mobile missile launchers that can launch hefty rockets and destroy entire blocks. To be honest, the game looks a tad unfinished, but that's just my nitpicking. Why? Because the game's still pretty good. Hopefully the game will get smoothed out, and some more flying, running, and driving things with guns will be added to it. And last but not least is Criminal Legacy. With its turn-based battles and level-ups, it's a sort of a criminal RPG where you'll need to get caught in the crossfire and win to expand your influence and receive useful drops. Also, you have a base where you can earn money and craft costumes for your gang. Costumes are not just a skin, but they also improve certain stats. In short, the game has a lot of opportunities and variability. It's definitely not boring. The only negative that I noticed is a lack of animation in combat, but that is made up for by having a good art style and a number of other advantages, so it's a must-play. Well, that's all for today. Subscribe to the channel, like, and comment on stuff. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!